So I woke up just in time for uh, Noir Alley, so I hope you don't mind my slightly disheveled hair. But um, this week was one of the films on the schedule that I actually, for all the noir I've seen, was one I hadn't gotten to yet. So it's really exciting. Um, it's obviously it's on Noir Alley this week on TCM, so you can watch it on Watch TCM. Um, it's also, there's a new Blu-ray that was released, I want to say, by Kino, but I can't remember. Um, well, I, one of those boutique Blu-ray companies just released a really great Blu-ray of it. So it's, it, you can find it. It's easy to find. It's based on a novel by William P. McGivern, who also wrote The Big Heat, Rogue Cop, and Odds Against Tomorrow. So, um... I actually haven't read the novels of those films, but I've seen the films. So now that I've seen several of these films um, based on novels by him, I feel like I need to track down those novels. So this one stars Edmund O'Brien. So you know there's going to be running. Um, <laughs> so this was directed actually by, co-directed by Edmund O'Brien with Howard Koch. It's one of two films that Edward, Edmund O'Brien directed. Um, it also has Marla English. She was only in a handful of films, including um, Three Bad Sisters, which I have actually seen and I think is quite good. Um, so if you like B-movies, check that one out. And also, out of nowhere, um, Carolyn Jones, a.k.a. Morticia Adams, having the worst Italian dinner date of all time. Um, so the film basically is Edwin O'Brien is a cop. He's He's starting to slide into, like bad bad cop and um so he shoots somebody um in in while making an arrest and steals twenty five thousand dollars at which point he's uh, attempting to start a new life with his girlfriend marla even though he's sort of um really possessive of her in some creepy ways and his partner um john agar is like, bro, what are you doing? And so this all happens within about 24, 48 hours. It just slowly but surely um, breaks down his entire plan. Like the model home he wants to move in with his girlfriend is falling apart. The the bookies are after him because they know he killed um, their, their dude. And they don't care. They just want their money back, you know. And the cops are like, we can't have an actual bad cop. Now, hilariously, this is in the 50s, right when... LAPD was having a lot of problems with dirty cops, this this being LA Confidential era, um, based on real, and LA Confidential is based on real scandals. Um, there's some several really great novels, or not novels, um, books about the LAPD of that era. Um, Bright and Guilty Place is one of my favorites. So uh, this was all very um, timely. There's some really great dialogue that's just, dark as shit in this movie um and then the ending is just utterly depressing and like I said the um scene with Carolyn Jones takes place in a bar um and it's probably the most brutal pistol whipping uh without actually showing blood I think I've ever seen in a film it's it's dark and um this is just a great great 82 minute B noir that like has dames and bullets and the mafia and bad cops and good cops and kind of bad cops and uh, juvenile delinquents and bad girls who try really hard to be good but just can't quite and bad girls who are just bad girls and like anything you really want in a B noir is in this film and I highly recommend it. So you can watch it on um, Noir Alley on TCM or you can get the Blu-ray. Uh, either way you should check this film out. It is great. Um, and while you're while you're on an Edmund O'Brien kick, also check out Ida Lupino's The Bigamist, maybe my favorite Edmund O'Brien film. Um, so yeah, have a good day and uh, keep on watching noir.